started as a leap of faith to help people. My mom actually had brain cancer and um, we started researching things that could help her post-treatment with some of her residual effects um, and we started learning about the hemp plant. In five years, one shop turned into three for the owners of Kentucky Botanical Company. They sell all kinds of hemp products, including Delta 8, which some Kentucky lawmakers attempted to ban last year. And just being able to help people get the relief that they need from a non-pharmaceutical option. I, I truly hope that it is something that is, we've dealt with it, we dealt with it in 2023, and we don't have to worry about it going forward. The legislature ended up passing regulations instead, implementing age restrictions, lab testing, and packaging requirements. That's what Justin Swanson wants to see in Indiana. Right now, the issue is up in the air. A year ago, Attorney General Todd Rokita issued this opinion, reclassifying Delta-8 and other intoxicating hemp as Schedule 1 controlled substances under Indiana law. Obviously came to a really big shock to farmers and small businesses around our state who've been operating in compliance for, again, since 2018. Rokita left it up to local law enforcement to take action. We had about probably 15 county prosecutors um, take that letter and then go send their own letter to uh, local retailers in their county uh, threatening to threaten them with uh, felonies as well for selling the, 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 the very popular product. The Midwest Hemp Council and other industry leaders filed this federal lawsuit in June. So really what we're asking for uh, from the federal judge is, is who's right, whose interpretation is right here. You know, is this, is this industry that the state has incentivized to be here and expand legal or are we all all of a sudden uh, felons overnight? Swanson expects a decision any day now. Yeah, that decision would be whether the hemp makers can stop the state from having law enforcement impede their business. The state, on the other hand, wants the lawsuit tossed. Cassie? You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.